Hi folks. Today I've been working on these drawstring bags for my Disney memory books. I thought it would be a fun way to give it to my children after our trip to Disney in March. So I've put Minnie on the front, Mickey on the back. I think it's cute. Nicer than a paper gift bag. And when I made the Disney wallets, a lot of people asked if I could show how I did the layering for Minnie on these. So I've recorded a video while I was making this drawstring bag so I could show you how I did the layering with Cricut Iron On and my Easy Press. So if you'd like to see it done, keep watching. So here we go. Before I do the iron-on, I pressed um, my fabric, a channel for the drawstring, and my seam allowance on the side just so that I could see where I was going to place my Mickey and my Minnie. Um, I know some people thought that I had layered everything before I put it on the fabric, but in fact I haven't. I just stacked my carrier sheets so that I could make sure that everything measured up. So I'm going to start by applying my first layer. My Easy Press is already warmed up. I have several layers, so I'm just going to count about 10 seconds down to the first layer. There we go. Let that cool a bit. I don't want to be pulling up any of the edges. So I'm rolling my carrier sheet close to the fabric. The next layer is the skin tone. And for this, I was asked a few times about this. I used um, Cricut Iron-On Light, and the color is called Pebble, and I'm really happy with the color. I think it's really fitting. Works out pretty nice. I need to lower that down a bit. The black is hard to see on the blue in this daylight. There we go. I have my little piece for the tongue stuck here, so I need to take that off. That seems to be about right. And I'm going to use my original carrier sheet to protect the ears so that I'm not pressing right on the exposed iron-on. And I'm going to go again for 10 seconds with one hand of pressure. If I was doing only one layer, I would have pre-warmed the fabric, but because I have so many layers going on, I decided I would just start right away with the iron-on. We'll take that away again. And let this cool. And then go slowly so that if you see any loose edges, you can drop your carrier sheet back down and press again. The next thing I'll put on is the eyes. Get them centered up nicely. That looks pretty good. And I'll put the tongue back. There we go. These don't overlap, so I can put them both on at the same time. Once again, I'll put my large carrier sheet back on. And I'm going to go 10 seconds again. There 
kind of cool again. There we go. And now her bow. And with her bow, we'll be finished doing Minnie. And I'm going to put Mickey on the other side. I'm going to pick that up again. Nope, too far to the left. That looks good. Okay, I'll take my large carrier sheet and cover everything. And because it's the last layer, I'm going to go a full 30 seconds. With one hand of pressure. I actually keep my little pieces of carrier sheet. I find they're amazing for lifting vinyl. I really like them. There we go. I'm going to flip it over and do 10 seconds from the back. And we should be done. Let it cool. Take off my big carrier sheet. And roll this back. Beautiful. Okay, so there's Minnie. I'm going to go ahead and do Mickey now in the exact same way, and then I'm going to sew my couch together so I can put the memory book in it before I give our children. Thank you for watching.